Hello, my name is Dr. Matthew Pez, and together with Dr. Stathis Konstantinidis from the University of Nottingham, uh, I'll be presenting the paper on bibliometric analysis of chatbots in health, and it's regarding trend shifts and advancements in artificial intelligence for personalized conversational agents. So starting with the core methodology of a bibliometric analysis, the influences and relationships between a plethora of factors can be uh, investigated in any subject area and the overall evaluation of the landscape can be formed. This is really useful to understand future direction based on these patterns and trends. Uh, the individuals involved, the citation index and many other uh, metrics can be used to provide insight. So a bibliometric analysis can be applied to any subject area essentially and the rationale for the use of chatbots is a recent growing requirement in the health domain for efficient communication and problem solving. So mass exploitation of chatbots has been very useful in this area and is a growing uh, need. And the advantages in artificial intelligence and NLP are changing the landscape of chatbot usage and we're interested in using bibliometric analysis to understand the possible future utilization in healthcare. So to give it a, a slight context to current chatbots, the artificial intelligence based conversational agents and medical chatbots can provide medical consultation to patients based on interpreting the patient's data. And in fact, chatbots can be the virtual patients themselves. And a popular uh, recurrence within the literature is that the suitability of AI for chatbots is to supplement rather than replace medical professionals. And there are several factors or motivations for using chatbots in healthcare. And three broad themes are the understanding of the chatbots, the hesitancy in adopting AI, and the motivations for health chatbots in a, in a general usability sense. So the objectives to our study was to understand the key features in the cumulative work and identify trending documents. Such factors could be uh, what has been addressed each year, by whom, and how this can help to predict future topics. As there are few analyses which explore all subtypes of agents, uh, we chose to not focus on technical aspects or features, but in a general sense of the uh, applications in healthcare. So the methodology, uh, the largest two databases were searched, which are the Web of Science and Scopus. We could have included more, um, but for the bibliometric analysis, these cover more than 90% of the research output, so it's sufficient in this case. And the keywords were chatbots and healthcare, uh, search between 2000 and 2021. So we did use Excel Two tools and VozView, which is a very good data visualizer. I have to say that the packages in R, the Bibliometrics and BiblioShiny are very useful. So the results of this search produced 2,148 documents and 54% were articles with 44% being proceedings papers. And in total, there were 58,000 or more than 58,000 references with more than 4,000 author keywords. And to stop breaking this down, um, we can understand that the annual growth rate was 12% for the entire data set. And very interestingly, from 2017, the growth rate was 45%. And, and last year, in 2020, it was 19% for the amount of documents produced. So this pairs with the 960 conference proceedings over the 21 year period. And again, to note that in the last 36 months, there's been 479, which is around 50%. So we can really see the advancements since 2017 of the um, artificial intelligence and technology and how they've influenced the directions. So looking through all the research documents, we were interested in understanding who were the uh, spearheads in this domain and Timothy Bickmore was the most cited author and had 45 documents within the time range and although many of these were from 2000 to 2010 actually Bickmore and more than seven co-authors have published four articles in 2020 and 2021 
which explore interface with artificial systems. So they are still leading the way in, in, in terms of impact and direction. And interestingly, with just over three years since publication, an article from Kyushu Institute of Technology in Japan had 74 citations per year. I looked into this uh, to understand why it was a, a popular paper and the authors were developing a brain interface uh, model and they uh, demonstrated this learning model on automatic driving, medical care and uh, industrial robots. So the data presented is actually only one small part of the entire results and there's use in visualization of the data to relay the full data set. And in this case, from 2012 to 2020, we can see the shift from the bottom left, which uh, kind of the, the themes involve technology, uh, hardware and, and kind of systems. And from 2014 to 2016, this shifted then to uh, kind of the initial uh, applications in health. So human engineering, mental health and exercise are, are some of the themes. From 2016 to 2018, a, a kind of divergence is happening where it's, it's quite heavily applied in, uh, in, in, in health and, and mental health as well. Or it goes into the artificial intelligence, machine learning and natural language processing. So a thematic evolution map was uh, created from 2017 onwards as that kind of represents the big boom, if you like, of the, the documents and the maps divided into four quadrants. We can see the basic theme at the bottom right and this represents either um, less developed themes or transversal themes which means that they can cross the line and have different functions and in this case chatbots are the core or basic themes and concepts throughout of course. Um, and interestingly the motor themes, uh, there's obviously a lot in this quadrant and they represent kind of the strong centrality and high density of research in, in, in this area of uh, health and chatbots and they're most likely to be developed in the future. So trying to make sense of all this data and really um, simplify the, <laughs> the, the, the field and the results we can kind of say there's been three waves. The first wave from 2000 to 2010 was technology system and hardware driven uh, so kind of the, the essential building blocks for chatbots in health. Uh, then from probably 2010 to 2017 or 2016, the initial pragmatic application in a variety of fields had occurred and this, this initial evidence base was gathering. And more recently, let's say from 2017 onwards, this huge surge in AI integration and um, the, a plethora of new subject areas has, uh, has really expanded chatbots in health and healthcare. So we're interested in understanding what's what's next and we believe that there will be a pooling of significant evidence to be able to embed safely chatbots into healthcare. Uh, this may take a while as AI maybe now is too volatile and the NLP uh, training can influence and affect interventions that we can't predict. Um, and we believe that the or, or most motor themes will be transferred to basic and core themes uh, such as we saw in the thematic evolution map. Some themes may not such as the theme of COVID it was obviously because of the COVID pandemic but this could then instigate different directions into public health of infectious disease. So thank you for listening and thank you to Medinfo 2021 for allowing us to present the work and host an excellent conference. Uh, this work is supported by the Erasmus Plus Strategic Partnership in Higher Education and you can find more about this project at cepeh.eu, uh, so that's c-e-p-e-h dot e-u. Thank you.